Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about this Sephora favorite set. This is the Sephora Sunkissed Glow Set. Sephora does these favorite sets every once in a while. You'll see them a lot during the summer for some reason. So they have like the Summer on the Fly, the Sunkissed one. They have tons of different ones they get. They do have like alternate ones that you can get at Sephora specific Sephora inside JC Penney's. So they have special ones for that as well. This one here in particular I was very interested in because it does have a Fenty product in here. There are also two full size items in here so that's very nice as well. This is $45 price tag but it has a $103 value so that's a pretty good value in my opinion. So I'm excited to see how these products look. I'm going to swatch everything for you guys and then let you guys know whether I feel like you guys should get this kit or not. Because again, it is $45, so it's not like it's super, super cheap or anything. However, it does seem to have a good value. So we're going to open this up. It does come with this little plastic bag here. The plastic bag seems like it would be great for like beach vacations or whatever. It's like rubberized. It's not really plastic. It feels more rubbery. So I like the bag itself. It kind of looks like the banana color. I love banana. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the full size item. One of the full size items. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the color chameleon champagne diamonds for blue eyes. It says, so that's another thing. Sometimes these kits are geared towards a certain skin tone. So, which is another thing that's not so cool about these kits because not everybody has the same skin tone. Not everybody has the same eye color. In my opinion, it would be great for them to have a couple different kits of the same set. So like a couple different skin tones, a couple different eye color kits, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and get into this because they are what they are. Unfortunately, they have not changed their policy on them yet. Hopefully they will eventually change that though, because I think it would be great for them to offer a variety of different sets within the actual range of them. So this again is the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. Here's what it looks like on the pencil. It's like a I don't know, it's like a shadow pencil, I guess. So swatch it. Oh, it's really pretty. I don't see how that's specifically for blue eyes, though, in my opinion. I think that would work well for anybody, any color eyes. So let's go ahead and put a little bit on my eyes now. We'll try it out. So we'll put a little bit here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the difference is. Let's see if it makes a big difference at all, anyway. Since my eyes are not blue, they're actually green. So there's what it looks like. It's really pretty. It went on semi easily. I don't really love these like crayon type products for your eyes because I find them kind of hard to apply sometimes. And I feel like they do transfer a little bit. So we'll have to see if this one transfers or not. So as this one dries down, we'll do a little smudge test on it. But so far, so good. The next thing in here, let's see if we can get the other full size item. So the other full size item is from Tarte. This is the Tarte Sea Glass, which is really cool for summer. This has like the sparkly package and it's like you can touch it and there's nothing like texture to it. So that's cool. And this is in the shade Sweet Life. So let's swatch this one as well. Oh my gosh. Now that's really pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. We'll put that on the other eyelid. Yeah. Wait a minute. Make sure. Sea Glass, Tarte. What is this? Make sure it's for your eyelids first. Hang on. This is the eyeshadow. Making sure it wasn't a lip gloss, that would be really bad if I tried to put this on my eyes and it was for your lips. So we'll put this over here on the other eye and see what happens. Oh wow, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna have to go in close to the camera so you can see it. That is gorgeous. It reminds me of the Stila glitter things that you can get, the glitter and glows. So there's what it looks like on the lid. And there's the Charlotte Tilbury, both of them on my eyes now. Hmm, not so shabby. Oh, this one's transferring a little bit right there because it wasn't dry yet. So we'll let that one dry a little bit. They're the same with the, the Stila ones though. The Stila ones, you want to let them dry before you start moving your eyes a whole lot. So, so far it's so good. It's drying kind of quick, but not super quick. The next thing in here, now we'll go ahead and start pulling the other products that are not full size. So we have something from Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the Glow form. Ooh, I've never had the glow. I've had the Loose Translucent and I think it might have been matte or something. So let's see what this looks like. We've got a little sticky thing on there. So let's put a little in the lid and we'll swatch it. It's just a tiny little container here. It's nothing really big, but... It's a good way to try it out and to see if you actually like it. And then if you're interested in purchasing it in the full size, then you can. Um, I'm trying to get a good swatch here, but it's not coming out so well. Let's try this again. All right, now I think we got enough powder finally. Okay, so now I've got it on my finger here. So there it is. And then swatched. It's right here. 
So basically, it's just going to give your skin a little bit, a little bit of luminosity to it. So we can probably grab a powder brush. Let's grab, let's grab a powder brush, and we'll clean it off to make sure there's nothing on it. We'll use one of these little pink cloths here, and we'll try to get most of the other product off. So we can use a little bit of this powder to see how it works on my skin. We'll put it on this cheek to see if it actually gives a better glow. Let's see. Get some more out of here. I always put it in the lid. Do you guys put it in the lid or do you put it, like, just take it directly out of the container? I seem to find a, that it works better if I put it in the lid. So we'll see if it makes my skin look more glowy on this side. I think it made it matte, honestly. This side looks more matte than this side now. I don't know. We'll have to try it more, but my first impression is that my skin looks more mattified over here than it does over here. This side has a lot more glow to it. So first impressions, not so good. The next thing in here is, ooh, this is the item I was excited about. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Sun Stalker in Shady Biz. So here's what it looks like. There's what the color looks like and everything. Again, I wish they would have other colors because this is not going to work for everybody. I do love the packaging to it. The packaging looks really pretty. Seems really well made as well. Let me grab another brush and we'll put a little bit of, of this on. We'll grab this little brush here and we'll put a little bit of bronzer on. I already have some bronzer, but we'll find a spot that doesn't really have much. We'll do it over here in my temple. There's not a whole lot of bronzer going on there. Hmm. Seems nice. Let's try a little more. It definitely warms up your skin. I really like the color of it as well. I think the color is really nice. But again, it's not going to work for every shade, every skin tone. So unfortunately, they need to get on that and start making different skin tones and different eye color products. That's my opinion. I think that would be better for them. They would sell more in my, I think that would help to make people feel like they could buy it and be able to, it would be useful for them as well. Then we have the Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz. So this is the typical, the ones that look like the little flying saucer. And then the powder looks like this. It's basically just like a white powder. Let's grab another brush. <laughs> How many brushes we gonna grab? All right, we got another brush here. We have the Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush. Just gonna clean it off a little bit here. And then we're gonna put some highlight on. Tap it in, tap off. Oh my goodness, like, that's really glowy. That's really nice. I really like the way that looks. That's beautiful. So I really like that one so far as well. And I like that it's a smaller size because I have a whole drawer full of highlighters and I don't go through them very quickly. Actually, I don't think I've ever used up a full size highlighter, so I'm happy to have a smaller one. Then we have a couple more products in here. We have three more products. The next one is from Artist Couture. This is a little diamond glow powder and it's in Conceited. I have some of the full size ones. Let me make sure I don't have the shade. I have Summer Haze. So here's the difference in sizing. So this is a full size and this is the deluxe. So there's the size difference. So you can see that it's quite a big difference. Um, this one is an Illuminati. And then we have Purple Dreams. So no, I don't have Conceited, so I can try it out. If I would already had it, I would just use the one that I personally own and then save this one for like a giveaway or something. Uh, let's see if I can get it out of here. All right, so we've got the little plastic piece off and we'll put some in the lid so there's what it looks like dumped into the lid and then ooh, this thing is dark I feel like they've gone from kind of all over the place for the shades like some are darker some are lighter so there's what that looks like that is a really dark highlight I think it's going to cast a shadow onto my skin but we'll try it anyway so I'm going to get my highlighting brush I just wiped it off and we'll highlight the other cheek so here it is oh my gosh my cheek looks wet now. <laughs> well, you, if you did like the 100 layer make, uh, highlight challenge with this, it would be crazy. You'd probably look like the 10 man after you were finished. So that is intense. So this small one is going to be perfect to use because you're not going to need a whole lot. I think I'll put a little too much here. But the good thing is I'm noticing it doesn't really accentuate any of my like pores or anything. So that's nice. And then the next thing is from, uh, who is this? Sephora Collection. So this is the Sephora Collection Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Lip Shine. So this is a lip product, so I'm going to wipe off my lip products. I'm going to try that out as well. Wipe this off. 
So we'll try this lip product out and see how it works. I got it. My hands are like really dry. Oh yeah. Mm, too much over there. It's just a typical lip gloss. So the good thing is their lip glosses aren't really sticky. They do have a smell to them though, I think. Yeah, it's like a little bit of vanilla -y smell. It reminds me a little bit of like a MAC lip, like a lip product from MAC. So it's pretty good. And the last product is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Coconut um, Highlight, I think it's called. Coconut Gel Highlighter and it's in the Dew Drops 50 Do You. So these are highlighters that you can put on. I think you typically can put these under your makeup. But we're going to try it over our makeup a little bit. So there it is on my hand. I'll go ahead and swatch that out for you so you can see what it looks like. Oh yeah. That's... To me it would be great underneath of your foundation. It would give your skin a nice luminosity because that's really glowy. Let's put a little bit on my nose here. We'll see what happens. Dab it in. It smells coconutty. It smells pretty good. All right, so there it is on my nose. It didn't make a huge difference, but it very it looks almost more natural, in my opinion, than what these two do. These two look pretty extreme, so that one looks more natural once you've applied it to your skin, so you can put it over top of your makeup as well. So these two here, the first two that we swatched, they're not moving. So the eye one that I put on my eye, as well as the Tarte one, they're not moving. I will say that the Tarte one, there's a lot of fallout from the glitter on my hand here. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but a lot of the glitter has come out of that one. So that one's a little disappointing in that aspect. So I don't know about that. Just be careful, I guess, that you're not moving this around too much so that it doesn't like transfer and the glitter doesn't start falling out under your eyes. I think other than that, it'd be okay. So, so far, all to me so far, all together in here, you've got the Marc Jacobs, you got the Full Size Tarte, the Full Size Charlotte Tilbury, the Laura Mercier, the Artist Couture, the Fenty Beauty, goodness, I can't hold them all, the Sephora Lip Product, and then the Becca Highlighter. So you get all these in there for $45. Do I feel like it's worth it? Some of these are going to be items that you could probably pick up as point perks, but we all know how those work because <laughs> those point perks, it takes a lot of money to add up to get those point perks because they've got point perks anywhere from like 100 to like... <laughs> thousands so some of these probably could be point perks so if you're interested in trying these out and you don't have any of these in your collection I would say this is a good way to try them out especially considering you're getting two full size items in here the Charlotte Tilbury I'm sure is pretty pricey by itself as well as the Tarte let me go look these two up so I can tell you guys how much those two alone would be so that way there you would know if these would be just kind of like bonuses or whatnot so let me look those up real quick okay so I looked up both the Tarte and the Charlotte Tilbury so the Charlotte Tilbury alone would be $27 so this is 27 bucks by itself which I did not believe it would be that expensive I was thinking like 19 or 20 bucks but it would be $27 then the Tarte one this Tarte sea glass is $22 so if you total these two together it is $49 so this set right here by itself was $45 so you're saving $4 between these two plus you're getting all the other extra so I do think it's worth it if you are interested in trying either of these out or both of these out. So that would be a great value in my opinion. I don't always get all the Sephora favorite sets because some of them I don't think that they're that great of a value because I'll have really tiny little samples. And these I feel like they're decent enough sizes. So I will get good use out of all of these. These will be great for traveling as well. I think these will be perfect for me when we go on our vacation. So that is my thoughts, my opinions on this little set here and as well as a little bit of a demo of them because we did put them on although I do already have some makeup, I already do have makeup on, but we put them over top so you can kind of tell how they're, what they work and everything and swatches as well. I'd love to know if you guys have this set or if you're thinking about getting this set, what you think of it. I think it's pretty cool. And like I said, after I totaled it up and realized that it would be $49 just for those two products, I do think it's a good value. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.